Hi, this is Shekhar Srinivasan, a Microsoft Certified Trainer and an Architect. Thanks for supporting my videos. With all your encouragement, I am again with a new video for understanding the top 10 new cool features of C Sharp 6, which all C Sharp developers need to know. This video will be divided into two parts, where in the first part, I will be covering the following new features using static qualifier, string interpolation, null conditional operator, auto property initializer, expression bodied functions and properties. And in the second part, we will discuss dictionary initializer, index initializer, name of expression, expression filters and await in catch and finally block. C Sharp 6 language doesn't come with many huge concepts and features, but C Sharp adds a lot of small but very useful language features to remove the boilerplate and clean up your code in a very efficient way. Now let us understand the first feature using static qualifier. Till C Sharp 5, in order to refer a static member present within a static class such as a right line method of a console class, we need to refer the member using the class name that is console.writeline. From C Sharp 6, with the support of using static qualifier, we can refer the static member directly without the reference of the class name. That is, we can call the right line method directly without specifying the console class. To achieve, we need to include the using static qualifier. For example, we can write using static system.console and we can invoke the right line method directly. We can also use the using static qualifier for the user defined static classes. Let us understand this feature with a simple demo. I have already added a file and written a sample code using previous C -sharp coding standards. We have using statement to refer the system namespace and a class with a main method having console.writeline method to display the value. Now let us update our code to C Sharp 6. We can refer any static method present within the static class using static qualifier. So let me add using static system.console. And since we have used the static qualifier, we can now refer the right line method directly. In this way, we can invoke any static method present within the static class directly. So let me add another using static qualifier system.math and let us find out the square root of 16 and display. We can just now type in right line square root of 16 is 0 and now we can type in square root directly and pass the value as 16. We can also refer static enum value directly using the static qualifier. To understand, let me add another using static qualifier using static system dot day of week. And now let us find out the difference between Friday to Monday and let us execute the application. Now let us understand the second feature string interpolation. Ha. String interpolation, the first time I heard this feature from C Sharp 6, immediately I was carried to my flashback before 15 years when I used to work with CJ using Perl. In Perl language, whenever we wanted to format a string, we had a support for string interpolation, but when I started with C Sharp 1.0 Alpha in 2000, I was just wondering why this awesome feature is not present in C Sharp, and I was eagerly waiting for this feature in C Sharp every time a new version is released. 
Finally, C# sharp 6 has introduced this feature string interpolation. Now let us understand what is string interpolation. To define an interpolated string, simply prefix a string literal with a dollar sign. Anything that should be injected into the string is simply included in line in the literal and enclosed in curly braces just as with string dot format. Now let us understand this feature with a simple demo. I've already prepared the boilerplate code for the demo. Now let me first define three variables, two variables for storing some numbers and the third for having its sum. int number 1 equal to 10, int number 2 equal to 20, int result equal to number 1 plus number 2. In order to display the result in a proper formatted way, we just write console.writeLine sum of 0 and 1 equal to 2, number 1, number 2 and result. Now from C sharp 6, we can use string interpolation to achieve in a simple way. So the previous line now can be written in C sharp 6 as right line, a dollar sign to represent string interpolation, sum of within the placeholder number 1 and within the placeholder number 2 equal to within the placeholder result, which is quite simple and easy for writing the code. Now let us understand with one more example. For example, let me define some string variables to maintain the values of employee, name, job and city. String ename equal to shaker, job equal to trainer, city Hyderabad. And I wanted to display a message as shaker is working as a trainer in Hyderabad. Before C sharp 6, string message equal to string dot format, 0 is working as 1 in 2. And I pass ename job and city as the value. Console dot write line of message. And now from C sharp 6 using string interpolation, string message CS6 equal to dollar. Within the placeholder, I can directly type an ename is working as within the placeholder job in the placeholder city. Write line message CS6. And let us execute the application. <laughs> you will use this feature and now let us move on to the third feature null conditional operator null conditional operator enable developers to check the null value within an object reference chain the null conditional operator that is question mark and a dot returns null if anything in the object reference chain is null this avoid checking null for each and every nested objects if they are all in reference and having null values. For example, let's say we have employees data which consists of employee number, employee name, salary, job and commission where I need to calculate the total salary and we know that sum of salary and commission will be the total salary. But the problem is Commission will not be given for all the employees such as managers or clerks. It will be provided only for salesmen and marketing team. So if we calculate the total salary directly, then the result will be null for the employees other than salesmen or marketing team. To avoid that, we need to perform multiple condition checks which can be easily reduced using the null conditional operator. Let us understand this feature with a demo. I already added a file and defined a class employee with the properties employee number, a name, sal, job and commission. And also I have created another class company to maintain the list of all the employees data. Now let us concentrate on our main code. First let me create an object for the company class. Company, company equal to new company. And then let us define a variable for the total salary as a nullable decimal. Decimal question mark total salary equal to zero. And let me add a line to search an employee based on employee number and assign to the employee variable. 
where emp equal to company dot employees dot single or default e goes to e dot employee number equal to one not one now in order to calculate the total salary let me write the code if employee is not equal to null if employee commission is not equal to null total salary equal to employee dot salary plus employee dot commission else total salary equal to employee dot salary right line total salary and the value of total salary till c sharp five to achieve first we need to find out if the employee is null or not and if the employee is not null then we need to verify if the commission is null or not and if the commission is not null then the total salary will be salary plus commission else the total salary will be salary alone now the same code if you wanted to write in c sharp 6 using null conditional operator we can reduce to one single line total salary equal to employee question mark dot commission plus employee dot salary double question mark emp dot salary let me display the total salary now let us execute the application we can observe the total salary is equal to the salary now let me change the employee number who have a commission and let us execute the application we can observe now the total salary is equal to the salary plus commission let us move on to the fourth feature auto property initializer as a dotnet developer whenever we have a requirement to define a member and wanted to make it immutable we know how much code will be involved within it first we need to define a private backing up variable then use a constructor to initialize the value for that variable define an explicit read only property to read the value from the private backing up field and whenever we need the value use the read only property which has been defined explicitly now all this hard coding can be easily simplified using the c sharp 6 feature auto property initializer so what is this feature all about means it is the ability to use an initialization expression with an automatically implemented property that is now from c sharp 6 we can initialize the auto implemented property syntax to define an auto property initializer is public type property name a getter equal to value now let us understand this feature using a simple demo already added a file and written a sample code using the previous version of c sharp coding standards we have a class with the name employee and i have defined a private variable id of type gvid which has been initialized using the constructor and we defined a read only property explicitly to return the id value and the class consists of another two auto implemented properties name and salary now let us implement the same using c sharp 6 auto property initializer class employee public gvid id getter equal to gvid dot new gvid id public string name setter and getter public string salary setter and getter now we can observe how much amount of code has been reduced using this new feature now let us understand the fifth feature and the last concept of this video expression bodied function and properties expression bodied functions are another syntax simplification in c sharp 6 these are the functions with no statement body instead you implement them with an expression following the function declaration there is nothing particular about expression bodied functions as with most of the features found in c sharp 6 they are intended to provide a simplified syntax the written type of the expression must of course match the written type identified 
in the function declaration. Now let us understand this feature with a simple demo. Already added a file and written a sample code using the previous version of c -sharp coding standards. The code is quite simple and easy to understand. We have class calculator with the functions to add, multiply, divide and to display the result. Now let us write the same code using c -sharp 6 coding standards with the support of expression bodied functions and properties. Class calculator public int add int number 1 comma int number 2 goes to number 1 plus number 2. The same way public int multiply int number 1 comma int number 2 goes to number 1 asterisk number 2. Public decimal divide int number 1 comma int number 2 goes to number by number 2. Public void result int result goes to console dot right line result of result. The code for this video can be found at my website www.shakerdiguru.net. If you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the below subscribe button. This encourages me to produce more and more videos. Thanks for watching this video. We'll see you again in the second part of this video. Yours, Shaker.